So it's an epic challenge that started 24 days ago. Later today, former colour sergeant Brian Wood will finally finish his ultimate sacrifice challenge. It's a momentous day for Brian, who has trekked through tough terrain in all weather conditions. Look, he's run 26 miles a day in tribute to fallen servicemen and women. And he has dedicated each and every one of those miles to a British soldier who lost their life in conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq. Brian joins us now. It's the final day, Brian. It's your 25th <laughs> marathon. I mean, my goodness, if you'd just done one or two, that would have been a, an achievement. How do you feel this morning as you set off on your 25th? Brian, can you He's, hear us? Oh, connection's gone. Can you oh. hear us? We'll try and get that yeah, connection. Yeah, I can hear you now. You yeah. can oh, hear okay. us. How are you feeling, Woody? It's the morning of the last one. You've made it to the last one. Yeah, I'm, I'm broken. I'm taped <laughs> up, but I've still got a smile on my face and I'm looking forward to getting on the start line and representing the remaining 12, because it's 12 lives today, but I pledge to run a full marathon because I also want to represent the families and those who have been affected by conflict that have lost limbs or been affected uh, with, with the mental battle of uh, the legacy of conflict. Do you know what, when, when you couldn't hear us, Brian, just then, I thought, my goodness, you really... It was, He's it broken was like, his hearing. It, it, I, well, I just thought, you've obviously been through such a tough time. I just wondered whether you'd kind of zoned out. Were there moments during this challenge that you thought you might not be able to carry on? No. I've, I was broken. I've been on my knees. Um, I've shed tears of pain. Um, but when it was really daunting, I was always picked up by Lucy and reminded myself why I was um, doing this in the first place. And I just had that dedication, the desire, the true grit to get myself out the door every morning because, you know, this, this cause, I've said it from the beginning, it's greater than me. And uh, I wanted to absolutely remember every single one. And um, I'm here on the final day. See, look, you're, you're, you're always so calm, Brian, and playing it down. But we should point out, Lucy is your amazing wife who has put up with all sorts uh, from her swashbuckling hero of a husband who throws everything at her to try and pick up uh, life while you're going about this challenge. And I met Lucy when we ran. Just talk a little bit about how important she's been for you through this, Brian, because the couple of days after I... You'd, when I saw you a couple of days previously, that's when you'd had a really horrific day. And it was Lucy, as you say, who picked you up, gave you the hug and kept you going, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, I put a lot of pressure on myself as well to, um, to make sure I re remember and represent everyone. And... Uh, you know, Lucy did absolutely pick me up when I was broken and oh, she deserves more praise than anyone, if I'm honest. Sorry. Don't you be sorry. Oh, Brian. It's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to make you cry. Oh. Uh, so, you know, I, I think the thing is, I know how... <laughs> you broke me. I, have, <laughs> I, I know how special she is and I know how close you are and anybody that saw your story that got turned into a film mm. by the BBC will understand how difficult it was for the two of you when you came back from conflict and what you've been through. Mm. And, you know, she has been put through the mill as well. So look, the other thing that's exciting, there's someone else joining you today. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> look at him properly. <laughs> <laughs> what Brian didn't know is that's his son, Bailey, who's doing his initial training, as you can see. And he hasn't seen him, he's not been able to run, but Bailey wanted to run with his dad this morning <laughs> as well. Uh, so, Bailey, while your dad composes himself, Bailey, can oh. Bailey hear us? Can, yeah, my, Bailey's Lizzie, here, yeah. Uh, Bailey, tra get him to translate. How proud is Bailey? Ask him how proud he is of his dad. Oh. They're just asking. They're just asking how proud you are of me. Oh, I'm so proud. Honestly, words can't describe. So proud of him. And and you're going to be running with him today, Bailey. Thanks, Bailey. Thanks, Bailey. Thanks, Bailey. Oh. Uh, they, yeah, all, he will be. He just, will be. Just like his dad. They're, they are so humble, this family. It's just extraordinary, as you can see. Uh, what's that going to be like? I mean, you did that's a surprise when you brought in another one to make it even more emotionally brutal for you. Having Bailey running alongside you and your dad's joining you as well. 
I can't believe I've shed tears on live TV. <laughs> I've just, uh, I think everything now has just got on top of me. Yeah. I've just, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself and the, the messages from the families that I get daily, you know, they motivate me to get out of bed in the morning. I've been sliding down the stairs because I couldn't walk down the stairs and, you know, it's, this, this cause is so big and it's a lot bigger than me. I'm just trying to do my little piece in this, you know, in, incredible um, feat of honour and, you know, sacrifice, selfless commitment for this great nation and it's, it's, it's greater than me. Well, Brian, just talk to us about um, those families. You've, we, we've seen how important it is your family, your boys. Just saw Bailey joining you this morning. Your dad is going to be running with you. Your wife has obviously been hugely supportive. You are doing this for the families of all of those lives lost, all of those individual men and women. What have those families said to you as they have seen you run for their lost loved one. Yeah, they've thanked me for keeping their names remembered and keeping their candles lit. They've said thank you. Uh, they've said I've, I've inspired their children. Um, it's, hard for me, it's hard for me to talk about, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's just, just, it's meant the world to me and it's got me out the door every morning. So. It's the last day today. I've got 12 names that I'll be remembering and reading each name out as we go past the miles. And then on the 12th, we'll ha have a silence and then I'll then continue for the families. So the remaining miles after 12 will be for the families because, you know, the pain that they're constantly in is nothing compared to the pain that I'm in at the moment. This will surpass. Their pain will never surpass. If you follow Brian on Instagram, he posts the messages he gets from family members who, and I, it's so moving, Brian, when I see those messages and they say, you were running with my son's name on your shirt today. His children think you are a superstar for remembering their dad. You ran the other day with a mum called Naomi and you had her son Joe on your shirt, didn't you, Brian? And Naomi saw what you were doing and she decided that she wanted to come and run a couple of miles with you as well to say thank you. What was it like running with her and knowing that there's this tangible difference you're making to, to her and her family? Words can't describe it, Ben, if I'm honest. Um, Naomi was an absolute angel and she showed me the picture of her son on a keering uh, who lost his life serving in the parachute regiment. And uh, it was, oh, it's just been an emotional roller coaster. And uh, that's the reason why I wanted to remember every single one and uh, and rightly so but having you know oh, Naomi join me was just the icing on the cake it's, it was an incredible feeling and um, yeah we, we spoke about Joe um, and remember him with great valour and honour. Brian you're a hero and um, and every single one of those uh, lost who as you say you wear that t-shirt every day with a different set of 26 names and, it, and it's obviously hugely meaningful for the families uh, of those who you're remembering every single one of those men and women was a hero as well and uh, and you, you're doing an immense thing and i can't believe it's coming to an end i can't believe it as today well. 25 I and I, because you know ben's been with you during this journey i joined you on remembrance sunday and no, we've seen the pain that you go through as you do this you know that is a huge toll on your body but what struck me when we spoke is that you are inspired by the sacrifice that was made by each of those people and you're inspired by what you're doing for their families keeping those names alive and it is it's a remarkable thing Brian you're a remarkable person congratulations let's just let's just give you a shout because your your donation page is give penny isn't it give penny ultimate sacrifice that's, this is the most yeah, important. Yeah, that's right, Ben. This is the most important bit. Now, at the moment, it's at eighty thousand pounds, Brian, uh, and I know that that's eight hundred and twenty-two donations have been made. That's how many people have have been moved to donate. We would love to try and get that to hundred thousand pounds. I know that you're not here to try and sort of push that, but we would love that because we think that's a real reflection of the commitment you have made, which is just remarkable. How does that feel, though, knowing you've had that impact already? 
can't believe it because I put my initial target as 20,000 thinking it was unworkable really and maybe, um, as we would say in the military, a little bit necky, but <laughs> it just went, I don't know, it just went up and up and up and I was just really surprised and shocked because, you know, I, I don't class myself as a hero. I'm just a normal guy who served my country with pride and really I've seen um, the ultimate sacrifice being displayed in, in front of my eyes and uh, I wanted to just remember and, and represent and then it to just go how it's gone. And it's credit to you guys as well, like Good Morning Britain have been so, so supportive of, of me and have always kept a keen interest in what I've been doing and for me, I, you know, I can't thank you enough, so yeah, thank you. All our thanks and all our viewers' thanks are to you, Brian. Your, that money goes to walking with the wounded. Or in your case, running. <laughs> um, hobbling, hobbling with which, the wounded. Which supports disadvantaged veterans who've served in the armed forces and their families. It empowers them to regain their independence, uh, to continue to thrive and contribute in our communities. Um, and, and of course, over the pandemic, we know how important that has been. We know in the wake of what happened also with the withdrawal from Afghanistan, mm. how hard that has been as well for people like you who served there. So it's a, it's a fantastic cause. Brian. Good luck. What you're running in about an hour and ten minutes, so so you've got a, you've got an hour to get yourself. I don't know what do you do in that final hour before you set off. Go and have a chat to Bailey, maybe. <laughs> I'll just have something to. Yeah, I'll go and see Bailey, my son. I've not seen him for a while, and uh, I, I, I'm shocked, very shocked that he's even here. So I'll make sure he's got his running kit on, and I'll give him a little bit of hard time and, and make sure he. Uh, he does as much as he can with me today. He was wearing um, uh, camo. What, what, what's Bailey? What is Bailey doing? What, what, what is he do? He's I mean, yeah, yeah, what's he training to be? <laughs> he's uh, just he's, in February. So in February he'll um, graduate and uh, go to phase two for the parachute regiment. So. Wow. Yeah, he, he won't be that happy about being on front of TV, no. but he, he supported me from the start. He, he knows what I'm like, and, uh, and we've trained together for two years prior to him going into the military. So, yeah, he'll be buzzing, I'm sure. It's well so done, lovely Bailey. to see the two of you together. Have a great day today, Brian. Hopefully you float around this one. It won't be quite as painful knowing it's the last one. I know there's lots of people joining you as well. And anybody that feels moved, we've had so many amazing messages saying, Carolyn, what a wonderful human being, Brian. Sue says, Brian, you're amazing. Cry my eyes out with pride for you and your amazing family. You are a hero. Paula, Brian, you're absolute legend. Sending many good wishes. He truly is a hero in more ways than one. You are moving everybody. Let's get to Penny, uh, give Penny and try and donate a little bit of money because I know yeah. that that's why you're doing it. And it's so lovely to see you. I'm sorry I can't be there, but enjoy the rest when it stops. Yeah, well done. I will do. Thank you. Thank you both. Really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Brian. It's great to see you and Bailey as well. And, and do you know the thing is, once they come off air, he will really be giving Bailey a hard time, right? You've got your trainers, you get yourself warmed up, you've got, to stick, you've got to stay with your old man as well. You've got to stay, they're so competitive, it's just brilliant. <laughs>